Hello, lovelies, and welcome to this week's Random Facts. This week's episode is all about weird animal stuff. I've got weird things animals do, weird names animals have, weird body parts that some animals have, and I save the best for last. Weird, gross animal habits. And these are even better than wombat poop. So get ready to learn some weird and interesting facts about animals. Here we go. All right, up for our first category tonight, weird animal names. A group of ferrets is called a business. No, it's not because they're so professional. It's a modernized form of busyness the word originally used to describe a group of these weasel-related mammals. Kind of like these meerkats behind me. They're so cute. A group of owls is called a parliament. Their legislative powers, however, are still up for debate. A group of rhinos is called a crash. Individual male rhinos are referred to as bulls and females as cows. A group of crows is called a murder. It's officially called a flock, but the term murder was a poetic term used in 15th century English literature. And the name was possibly based on old folk tales and superstitions. A group of ravens is called either an unkindness or conspiracy, which seems fitting since ravens are traditionally considered creepy, and apparently can be really cranky birds that like to yell at other ones. It could also be because ravens are masters of deception. Like other birds in the corvid family, which includes crows and jays and magpies, they are all very intelligent. They have also been known to play pranks on one another and tease other animals. You can also teach a raven to talk like a parrot. I want a pet raven and I'll teach it to say, wait for it, never more. Also, only males are called peacocks. Females of the species are called peahens. And a baby puffin, which is a cute little bird, is called a puffling. How cute! All right, up next in our weird animals, up in this category, we have weird animal body parts. Narwhal tusks are really an inside out tooth. Narwhals are unlike most other whales because they have what appears to be a giant tusk. But that's not actually a tusk at all. What you're seeing, <coughs> excuse me, is actually a tooth. The BBC reported that the tooth is almost like a piece of skin in the, sense that it has, in the sense that it has all these sensory nerve endings and that it's built, or I'm sorry, adding that it's essentially built from the inside out. I wonder how much it would cost for an narwhal to get braces. Hmm. Moray eels have a second pair of alien style jaws, as in the movie Alien. Maybe that's where they got the idea. If you already thought that eels were kind of creepy, then this fact isn't going to make you feel any better about them. Moray eels have what's called pharyngeal jaws, which are a second pair of alien style jaws that are located in the throat and emerge to grasp prey before pulling the unfortunate meal down the eel's gullet. Now you know why that cat's so freaked out. Giraffes have black tongues. Scientists think that it's so they don't get sunburns while they eat. And the animal's tongues are also around 20 inches long. That's over a foot. An octopus has three hearts. Whoa. Octopuses or octopi have two more hearts than you do. Two hearts are used to pump blood to their gills while the third brings blood to the rest of their body. If that's not enough, 
They also have nine brains. No wonder why they're so smart. Tigers have striped skin. You might think it's just their fur, but no, tigers actually have stri striped skin. And speaking of those stripes, much like our fingerprints, they're unique to every tiger. Also, polar bears have black skin and their fur is actually not white. It's see-through, so it appears white as it reflects light. Last, anteaters don't actually have teeth, but they have two foot long tongues, the longest of any known mammal. That's so they can get way down into those ant hills and get some tasty, crunchy ants. Gross. All right, our next category, weird things that animals can do. Koala fingerprints are so close to humans that they could taint crime scenes. Koalas may not seem to have a lot in common with us, but if you were to take a closer look at their hands, you'd see that they have fingerprints that are just like humans. In fact, they're so similar when it comes to the distinctive loops and arches that in Australia, police feared criminal investigations may have been hampered by koala prints. According to Ripley's Believe It or Not, any koalas who want to commit crimes would be wise to wear gloves. Prairie dogs kiss, kiss to say hello. Prairie dogs are quirky creatures for a number of reasons. They're giant rodents, they dig massive interconnected underground homes, and they kiss. <coughs> While they're actually touching their front teeth in order to identify each other, when they seem to be, sorry, while they're actually touching their front teeth in order to identify each other, they act, sorry, let me try that one more time. While they're actually touching their front teeth in order to identify each other, they seem to be share, sweetly sharing a smooch. Scientists believe that prairie dogs kiss and cuddle more when they are being watched by zoo visitors because they appear to enjoy the attention. Ducks can surf. Over in New Zealand, surfers have noticed the same thing that those who ride the waves in California have witnessed. Ducks can surf. The birds do so in order to catch food or to simply move through the water quickly. Ooh, cowabunga, dude. Sea otters are very adept at using tools. While my, many scientists believe that tool use among dolphins is a relatively new phenomenon, a 2017 study published in Biology Letters suggests that otters may have been using tools for millions of years. Sea otters frequently use rocks to break open well-armored prey, such as snails or mollusks. Sea otters actually also hold hands while they are sleeping so they don't drift apart. So cute. Dolphins have names for one another. You already know that dolphins are smart. Oh, and yes, they are. But did you know that they even have their own names? One 2013 study found that bottlenose dolphins develop specific whistles for one another. <coughs> That's Mrs. Hayes in dolphin, sorry. <laughs> Cats recognize their own name, but choose not to respond jerks. Sorry, cat owners, you're not just being paranoid. Your pet does know when you're calling their name and they're ignoring you anyway because cats are jerks. In a 2019, 2019 study, researchers discovered that while cats can distinguish their own name, they don't necessarily feel obligated to respond. Now again, cats are jerks. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love cats. In fact, I have two but they can still be jerks. Cats also only meow at humans. You probably know that cats actually do love their owners and that they love to talk to their humans. But did you know you're unlikely to see your feline friend interact the same way with another cat? That's because other than kittens meowing at their mothers, cats don't meow at other cats. A snail 
can sleep for three years. Ugh, to be a snail right now and sleep for three years. All right, y'all, I saved the best for last. Gross animal habits. And like I said, these are way better than wombat poop being cube shaped. Capuchin monkeys wash their hands and feet in their own urine. Ew. Monkeys are undeniably cute. Man, they can be little twerps. They can also be pretty dang gross. Capuchin monkeys, for example, urinate on their hands and feet to attract the ladies. Yeah, no thanks. We think that the alpha males might be using urine washing to convey warm, fuzzy feelings to females and that their solicitation is working and that there is no need to run away. Or they could be doing it just because they're happy and excited. Either way, ew. Sloths can take up to a month to completely digest a single leaf. Man, a sloth doesn't do anything quickly. Everything about life is slow for these sleepy mammals. Most sloths will only have a bowel movement once a week and it could take them up to 30 days to completely digest a single leaf. I wonder if they could use like sloth x lax or something or I don't know. For comparison, it takes the average human 12 to 48 hours to ingest, digest, and eliminate waste from food. Yeah, only going potty once a week. No, oh, sorry, doesn't work. Again, yeah. <laughs> Painted turtles survive winter by breathing, wait for it, through their butts. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Not all creatures head to warmer climates when it gets cold out, and that means they need to learn to survive in chilly conditions. Painted turtles need to adapt to frozen ponds, which restrict their access to the air above the water. They do that by breathing through their bums, specifically the all-purpose orifice called the cloaca, thanks to a process called cloa clo cloacal Respiration, wow. The turtles are able to get oxygen directly from the water around them, through their butts. Ew. Horned lizards actually do squirt blood from their eyes. Eww. I've actually never seen it, but. The horned lizard has a pretty impressive trick for evading predators. When a horned lizard finds itself in a perilous situation, it can squirt a stream of blood from its eyes. The predator then runs off because wouldn't you have like somebody squirted blood at you? Ew. Here's another one. Nearly 3% of the ice in Antarctic glaciers is, want to take a guess? Penguin pee! <laughs> Nearly 3%, or I'm sorry. Kangaroos don't fart as much as cows. Cows are capable of producing up to 53 gallons of methane every day. Gross. So those were some pretty interesting facts. Who knew that koala fingerprints looked so much like humans that they could mess up crime scenes? The facts about house cats were interesting and definitely, like I said, do show that cats can really be jerks. <laughs> Only sometimes. One of my cats is very loving and the other one, well, she's just a cranky old lady. So before I leave y'all for this episode, here are the required and cheesy jokes. And you guessed it, they are animal jokes. Why do gorillas have big nostrils? Because they have big fingers.
I'm so sorry. Why did the, what, I'm sorry, what did the buffalo say to his son when he went away on the trip? Bison! You know, bison, bison, never mind. What was the first animal in space? The cow that jumped over the moon. All right, last one, I promise. Why do birds fly south in the winter? Because it's too far to walk. Okay, anyway, children, be safe out there. Do your schoolwork. Be excited that we get to come back to school in a few weeks. And have a great weekend.